So it's time for Swipe. We're talking about ideas that might change the world. You know you're in trouble when you say policemen and doctors start to look younger. Look at these inventors. <laughs> They're looking much younger than uh, the rest of us this morning. Naomi Apologon and Daisy Pope are here. Good morning. Along with Gemma Morris, of course, going to guide us through all of this. You girls have done really well in coming up with some ideas for future inventions, haven't you? What have you come up with, Naomi? Um, it's a teddy bear. It comes as many others. And it's each and every teddy bear is inserted with a thermometer. And when your child hugs the bear, it will check your child's temperature. And for all hygiene reasons, you can take out the phenometer with its case and wash the bear. Wow. It's a special project which came about as part of the British Invention Show. So you were able to showcase your idea, weren't you? Tell us how you came up with that idea. Um, we remember that last year and the year before, most of um, their inventions were to help the people and they were medical so we thought of something that could help the young something that a child doesn't like or something that they do like and you quite like the medical medical projects don't you yeah. why was that um and just re really into helping children and the younger to make things better so on swipe this week we've been looking at really useful ideas which is why we were hanging out at the british invention show yesterday and that's where we met daisy as well and the rest of your classmates and what was your idea because you won a prize for this didn't you um, yeah at school um it basically measures how much glucose or salt is in an item of food or drink by just simply put, put dipping it into it and um there's three marks, a green one, a yellow one, and a red one. So that bit's for the glucose. That and one's that for one's the salt. That one's for the salt. You dip yeah. it in the food. And how did you come up with that idea? Well, my friend Lucia, who's a part of our group, she, she decided that we should make something that can help people who are diabetic. So, so we developed the idea, and then we finally came to this. Very clever. It's really things, clever, Stephen. isn't it? Because with, with all of this, it's obviously it's ideas at the early stage, you know, which there's got a potential to develop these ideas. Mm. And this, this could be the young minds coming up with the, the keys to the future. I know, and a lot of the inventors that we met at the show said that the younger generation have so many great ideas because they're not restricted in the same way as you become when you're an adult. And that's why it was so interesting to meet you and all your friends. And there's so much more in the show tonight. It's on at quarter to ten on Sky News. And you actually want to go into engineering when, you, yeah. when you're older, don't you? Because yeah. you've had so much fun doing this. Um, how about you, Naomi? Do you like the idea of, of sticking with science? Um, yeah, as me, me and my group worked really hard. Um, um, all, the, all the members of our group really helped with the ideas and some of us had older siblings which shared the ideas for the invention. Mm. And you were lucky enough to have teachers who really support you with your ideas. And yeah. They run a special project in Cyprus Primary School where they have a visitor so they can work on ideas and innovations and not all schools have that and we no. found that there was this consensus among inventors at the show where they said the younger generation they need a lot of help, they need that support and schools in Britain don't necessarily offer that opportunity because you spent a long time doing this with a competition, it was like a Dragon's Den style wasn't yeah. it? How did that work? Um, well, it was. Um, we spent. We had a week and a half to think of an idea. Then we performed it to different teachers. Then finally, we performed it to some inventors and um, to Bill Curry and to our head teacher. And then two groups could go to the finals. So, to this evening, we're going to go to the Savoy because we won the competition. Very special evening tonight. The awards, the British Invention Awards at the Savoy. I'm looking forward to those, aren't yeah. you? I bet you are. Look, I look forward to seeing you two ladies <laughs> in your white coats <laughs> and plastic glasses being full-on scientists and engineers in a few years. I think these ideas are brilliant. And I'm, I know someone will take these forward and develop them. Good luck. Thank nice you. to like see you. Awesome. And keep coming up with those brilliant ideas. Love it. Thank you both. Let's... I uh, just remind you that you can get the full report, as uh, Gemma was telling you, with the full swipe programme quarter to ten tonight, also available on Sky News Catch-Up and Sky News for iPad.